Let's go. And you will say, oh. supposed to be an anchor. A boy at the same time that's B-U-O-Y is also supposed to be a float, something that keeps you afloat. A boy also serves as an indicator of danger so that you can see that there are reefs ahead. That is exactly what this program is all about. about. To keep you afloat, to keep you anchored to Jesus, anchored to his word, and to indicate where dangers could be knocking ahead of you during the day so that you will do everything according to the governance of Jesus. And I pray that as you fellowship with us as we go along on this program, you will be daily blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for this uh, program. This is the Made in Edition. I want to thank the Lord Bishop of the Anglican Communion of Shun that has approved of this program. And that is why we are able to speak with you and put this in the air so that um, this is the beginning uh, it can only get better never mind you may discover faults you may see that uh, there are inadequacies in the production in the presentation in everything this is the beginning and it can only get better and i assure you even for you as you are fellowshiping, fellowshiping with us it will always get better for you too in jesus name as we go on with your life boy today, we will, as approved for us by the Lord Bishop of Oshun and we can communion, be using the daily devotional of the Church of Nigeria uh, called the Daily Fountain. Here it is. So what we intend to do is that we'll take extracts, we'll take the scriptures from there, and then we'll learn one or two things, and then we will quickly pray together. And I know you will be daily blessed. My name is Reverend Oyegoki Omibodi, and I am by the grace of God the priest in charge of the Anglican Church, Uruki Estate Extension, Ushobu. But I also serve for now at the same time as an assistant priest at the All Souls Anglican Church, Ushobu, both in the Osho Diocese of the Church of Nigeria and the Anglican. So, what are we discussing today and what are we praying about today? If you check today, 23rd February 2021, check your devotional guide, The Daily Fountain, you will see that we had uh, been led to ask, we have been led to seek, and we have been led to knock. And the Bible reading is Matthew chapter 7, and we'll be reading quickly from verse 7 to verse 11. And then we'll take our exposition from there, and then we'll pray together quickly. Matthew chapter 7, I read from verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it will be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or, what man is there of you? Whom if his son ask bread, will give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? You see now, you have been asked to ask. Asking is all about making a request. You need to make a request from God, and then God will grant it unto you. Terms and conditions apply. 
I'll explain that later. You need to seek. Seeking is all about going out to look for so that you can find and bring back. That is what seeking is all about. You can't stay idle all the time and say that the grace of God is sufficient for me so I can just ask and then relax like that. Sometimes God doing his things in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform, can grant what you ask for. But sometimes he also wants you to go out and seek. And then finally it is knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Sometimes after asking and even seeking, you need to find particular doors upon which you will knock and expect that the door will be open unto you so that your blessings can be poured upon you. You need to seek to find the door of the kingdom yourself, knock and the Father who is in heaven will open the doors of heaven, the heavens and the windows of the heavens and pour upon you his blessings so that you will marvel at what the Lord can do unto you. And if you do that, I assure you, it will be well with you in Jesus' name. But you know something? It's not only you that God is asking that you should ask, that you should seek, and that you should knock on doors. Because we are called Christians, that means we are supposed to be like Christ. Even Christ himself, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, is telling you now that he is knocking on the door of your heart today that if you will open to him he will come in and sup with you with time with you so i have two prayer points today and most of the time i am sure we'll still end up with prayer points for two categories there are people who are ordinarily entitled now to ask to seek and to knock doors and automatically because they are familiar to the kingdom from which they are asking, they are familiar to the doors that they seek to open, they are familiar to the paths along which they are seeking, they will find. But there are others that everything may just sound strange. You do not yet believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior then perhaps you belong to that category that, that you may not necessarily understand how to ask, where to seek, and which door to knock. It's easy. All you need to do with me today, just say a quick prayer after me. You can close your eyes. It can be you and you. If you have your members of your family around you, so be it. All of you can pray together and say this prayer after me. Our Father and our Lord, we have come to you. We know that we are not entitled to ordinarily ask of you now or seek of you now because we are still sinners. We do not yet know Jesus as our Lord and Savior. But now we have come to you. Accept us, Father, into your kingdom that we may be part of those that will always be ordinarily entitled to seek, to ask, and to knock doors and it shall be opened unto them. Thank you, our Father and our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And I pray for you that the Lord will accept you into the kingdom and you will today also be entitled to be called a Christian, one that follows Christ, one that is entitled to seek and to find. Now for the rest of us, what do you ask for for today? The blessings of the Lord to go ahead of you? What are you seeking today? The favor of the Lord in all that you seek to do. On which doors are you knocking today? The doors of blessings that the God, that God himself may open the windows of heaven upon you and pour down his blessings. And I pray this will be your Lord today in the mighty name of Jesus. For today, seek, ask, knock the door. It doesn't matter in which sequence it may come to you. Ask, seek, knock the door. Knock the door, ask, seek, whichever way. Just make sure you go out, do something today, and Jesus will back up everything that you seek to do in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you for today and always in Jesus' name. Amen.